Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can delete data and log files from our database in SQL Server. So let's go to notes. So in notes we are just covering a demo on how you can delete data or log files using SSMS or uh, Transact SQL. One point to keep in mind here is uh, before you can delete any files a file must be empty before it can be deleted otherwise it is not possible to delete a file if it contains any data now let's go to SQL Server let me show you how you can delete the files using the SQL Server Management Studio GUI so you need to go to properties of a database there's a file section on the left hand side you can go there and on the files page uh, inside the database uh, files grid which is this grid and the section for database files so here we see we have two files a data file and a log file so right now our database is empty it does not contain any tables as of now I can show you so under sample databases we don't have any table so all the files are empty whether it's a log file or bad data file so if we go to properties of a database and we go to file section we can delete any of the files from here so for example this is a primary data file let me see if I'm able to delete it or not so you see it's not giving us any options to delete a primary data file neither we can delete a log file from here but in case we have added some additional files in here so let's try to add one more file here and let's call this file uh, let me give a logical name to this file so this file will be sample db I'm uh, providing the name sample db test uh, underscore dat uh, for the data file this is uh, going under the primary file group we can create new file group as well but for now we are putting it under the primary file group let's leave it to default sizing and the name of the file we need to provide it here uh, which is the name of the actual physical file so we are putting it as sample db test dot uh, any secondary data files uh, will have the ndf extension so let's put that so after creating the file let's click on ok so this is uh, we have just shown you an ex example of how you can add the files and also primary the primary MDF file cannot be deleted and the LDF file the log data file cannot be deleted only the additional files which we have added uh, that are secondary data files can be deleted so this one is a secondary data file with the NDF extension this can be deleted so this is also empty so a file should be empty as well for deletion so if you want to delete this file we can just select the row and click on remove to remove this particular file let's click on ok so this is the way how you can delete a file from the properties window of our database let me add that file once again from the GUI mode so let me add a file which will be sample db test dot dat and uh, let me put the physical file name sample db test dot ndf so a file is created so let me show you how you can delete this file which we have just added let's just check the logical name of that file so the logical name of file is sample db test underscore dat and also remember the physical file name um, both the files name are now remembered so let's open up a new query window let me show you how you can delete the files from the transact sql so in order to delete any files you need to issue an alter database statement because we are making a modification to a database so providing the name of the database you, that you are altering and from that database what you are doing is you are removing a file so issue a remove file statement and provide the logical name of the file 
so the name of the file is sample db uh, test underscore that this was the logical name of the file we had just shown you so run this statement this will remove the file so now that file is removed you can check the properties and you see that file has gone from there the test one has gone from here so these are the statements you can use to remove the file from a particular database also keep in mind that a file must be empty before it can be deleted and also another point is uh, the primary uh, data file with the MDF extension and the log file with LDF extension dot LDF extension we can put that cannot be deleted so keep these two points in mind so any additional files which you add on your own can be deleted so guys uh, we are done with this video I hope you like this video please like subscribe and share uh, and please subscribe to my channel and to share this video with your friends I thank you so much for your time on this video you have a wonderful day ahead